Once celebrated as one of Hollywood's most beloved and accomplished actors, Will Smith exuded charm and charisma, earning adoration as the affable, leading man audiences always rallied behind. His journey from the adored Fresh Prince of Bel-Air to blockbuster sensation propelled him to new heights of fame. Whether embodying the heroic Captain Stephen Hiller in Independence Day or the witty Agent J in Men in Black, Will delivered a string of cinematic gems. With a remarkable eight consecutive $100 million grossing films, his name became synonymous with box office success. Yet Will's allure extended beyond the silver screen, his seemingly flawless family life with wife Jada, whom he met on the set of The Fresh Prince, added to his enviable image. Together, they formed a power couple, their union blessed with the arrival of their children, Jaden in 1998 and Willow in 2000. Both offspring following in their parents' footsteps, and although quite awful, they ventured into acting and music, enjoying their own share of success. However, the glare of public scrutiny that accompanied accompanied their family's star-studded status inevitably led to cracks in the facade of perfection, revealing the challenges faced behind closed doors. Gradually, a series of incidents have eroded Will's once towering presence, leaving behind a man marked by inner turmoil and recklessness. The 2000s epitomized the zenith of Will's acting prowess. He graced the screen in a string of blockbusters, Men in Black 2, Bad Boys 2. Get out hey. the way! Hey. If I see okay. you on the highway, hey. get hey. the fuck out hey. of my way! Hey. I'm hey. Robot Shark Tale Hitch, The Pursuit of Happiness, I Am Legend, and Hancock. Collectively, these films amassed a staggering $3.3 billion in global box office revenue. During this period, Will clinched two Oscar nominations and earned a coveted star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Simultaneously, he nurtured his music career, releasing two studio albums that soared to impressive chart positions, peaking at number 13 and number 6 on the Billboard 200. Busking in unparalleled success, Will stood as the epitome of Hollywood stardom, a beacon for aspiring talents across the globe. However, following the release of the movie Seven Pounds in 2008, Will opted to step back from acting. Recognizing his growing fixation on material success, he made the conscious choice to prioritize his family. This decision coincided with his meticulous planning of Jada's 40th birthday celebration, slated for three years later. He embarked on an elaborate journey, crafting a documentary, delving into her ancestry, orchestrating a series of extravagant events, and arranging for Mary J. Blige to perform all in a bid to lift her out of a midlife crisis. Yet, following a heated argument, they mutually agreed to separate temporarily to contemplate their marriage. During this period, Willow penned a letter to Tupac, with whom Jada shared a complex history, imploring him to return and bring happiness to her mother. Meanwhile, Will embarked on a spiritual quest in Peru, undertaking the psychedelic journey of ayahuasca on 14 occasions, one of which proved to be the most harrowing psychological ordeal of his life. This transformative experience offered Will a newfound perspective, prompting his return home to reconcile with Jada. In 2012, Will returned to the silver screen with the release of Men in Black 3. Given his reprisal of a beloved role in an established franchise, expectations were high for box office success, and indeed, the film delivered. Raking in $654 million globally against a $215 million budget, it proved a substantial hit. Even more notable was the size of Will's pay paycheck, totaling $100 million from the film, making it the second highest uh, paid movie role of all time. Following this triumph, many anticipated that Smith would maintain his momentum from the 2000s. However, his subsequent project would prove to be the most significant setback of his career. In 2013, Will starred in the post-apocalyptic action film After Earth alongside his son, Jaden. Despite Will's intention to propel Jaden's film career, 
Korea, the movie met with harsh criticism, earning a paltry 12% rating on Rotten Tomatoes and a 33 rating on Metacritic, marking it as the worst reviewed movie in history. While aiming to showcase Jaden's talents, uh, the film's failure ultimately tarnished his budding career. Critics pointed to both Jaden's lack of charisma and the film's subpar writing as contributing factors to its downfall. Allegedly, the studio incurred nearly $30 million in losses. However, what weighed heavily on Will was the intense public backlash directed at Jaden, leading the young actor to resent his father for steering him towards the project. Uh, struggling with this backlash, Jaden sought legal emancipation from his parents at the tender age of 15, a decision that deeply saddened both Will and Jada. Uh, though he ultimately didn't follow through, the Smith family's fractures became increasingly evident. Later that same year, Will commenced filming for the movie Focus alongside his co-star Margot Robbie. Uh, just as they were concluding filming, risque pictures of Will and Margot surfaced from a photo booth. Star Magazine seized upon the images alleging Will's infidelity. However, Margot publicly refuted the claims, insisting they were merely goofing around. The scandal might not have garnered as much attention if not for pre-existing rumors suggesting the Smiths maintained an open relationship. Fast forward to 2015 and focus hit theaters. Speculation surrounding Will and Margot reignited as audiences noted their chemistry during press interviews, though neither addressed the rumors. The only reason that you're saying that is because you know I slept with your mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> she didn't even bother to call you back. Uh, that summer, Jada attended the Wireless Festival in London to support Jaden and Willow, both performing artists. It was there she met August Alsina, a rapper and friend of Jaden, despite their 21-year age gap. Despite this, they formed a close bond, with August spending more time with the family. August grappled with addiction to Percocets and other health issues, prompting Jada to offer support assistance and a hell of a lot more. However, during this period, turmoil brewed within the Smith household, with new Papers speculating about Will and Jada's imminent divorce. The rumors became so rampant that Will felt compelled to address them on Facebook, vehemently denying any such plans. Yet behind closed doors, he found a perverse satisfaction in the unraveling of their relationship. Matters continued to deteriorate, leading to their decision to take an indefinite hiatus from their marriage in 2016. Though the reasons for their split remain unclear, it created an opening for Jada and August's relationship to flourish. August increasingly integrated into Jada's life, even accompanying her on a family vacation to Hawaii without Will. It was during this time that their bond transitioned from close friendship to a romantic entanglement, undoubtedly a bitter pill for Will to swallow. Unfortunately, Will's challenges were far from over. Just two weeks into preparing for a new movie role, he received a devastating phone call concerning his father's health. Diagnosed with cancer, Will's father was given a mere six weeks to live. Their relationship had always been fraught with complexity. Will's father was a violent figure, often subjecting his mother to abuse during Will's upbringing. At the age of 19, Will witnessed a particularly traumatic incident where his father struck his mother, causing her to collapse and spit out blood. The memory haunted Will, leaving him feeling like a coward for not intervening. It was the only time in his life he contemplated suicide, consumed by guilt over his perceived failure was the only time in my life that I ever considered suicide because it was it was all my failure in my mind. Taking care of his ailing father brought these painful memories to the surface once again. Willard Smith passed away on November 7th, 2016. Despite maintaining a facade of strength, this period marked a profoundly painful chapter in Will's life, exacerbated by the strains in his marriage. Concurrently, his movie career experienced a downturn following the disappointment of After Earth. Uh, in the years following, Will struggled to replicate the successes of his earlier career, with films like Concussion, Collateral Beauty, Bright and Gemini Man failing to make a significant impact financially or critically. While 2015's focus achieved moderate success, 
success, it paled in comparison to his previous endeavours. Although roles in blockbusters like Suicide Squad and Aladdin brought financial gains, they lacked the depth and originality of his earlier works, highlighting his fall from grace as a leading figure in Hollywood. Meanwhile, Will and Jada sought to salvage their marriage through couples therapy, seemingly making progress as August and Jada parted ways and their relationship appeared to mend. However, in 2019, Jada's Instagram Live hinted at underlying issues within their relationship. Well, is coming to the table. She's and be at the red table. Would you say she has been instrumental in you and I redefining our relationship? I would say don't just start filming me without asking me oh my goodness. if you could film Austere, me. Austere, come help us again, please. I'm still dealing with foolishness. Don't. No, nah, no, nah, she, yeah, because she, don't just. Would you say that she helped us heal the hurts that we caused between one another? My social media presence is my bread and butter. OK, so you can't just use me for social media and not, you know, don't just start. Roll. I'm standing in my house. Though it garnered little attention at the time, only resurfacing years later. In June 2020, August's YouTube interview discussing his relationship with Jada thrust their private affairs into the public eye. While the nature of their connection remained unconfirmed, August's candid revelations prompted Jada to address the situation directly. I totally gave myself to that relationship for years of my life. I devoted myself to it, so much so to the point that I can die right now and be okay with knowing that I truly gave myself to somebody. Hosting a Red Table Talk episode with Will just a week later. During the conversation, Jada disclosed intimate details, including Will's past infidelity. Although the couple had already reconciled these issues privately, the public airing of their personal struggles ignited a storm of speculation and gossip, perpetuated by endless memes prolonging the drama surrounding their relationship. Like, hey, I was sucking somebody else's dick. How did that make you feel? Following a brief respite from scandal, the Smiths catapulted back into the limelight on March 27th, 2022, during the prestigious Oscars ceremony. Jada Pinkett Smith, having battled alopecia for years, made a bold statement by shaving her head in a powerful display of self-acceptance. However, what this vile woman wanted to be a moment of empowerment turned into a spectacle of humiliation when comedian Chris Rock callously joked about her appearance, quipping about a potential sequel to the film G.I. Jane. Shockingly, the once beloved Hollywood icon Will Smith sitting among the audience found amusement in Rock's crude remarks, his laughter echoing through the theatre. But after he saw Jada's reaction, he made a move towards the stage, slapped Chris across the face and casually walked back to his seat. The night did not end there for Will Smith. Despite the reprehensible nature of his actions, he was awarded the Oscar for Best Actor for his portrayal of Richard Williams in King Richard. Taking the stage once more, he tearfully attempted to justify his violent outburst, shamelessly invoking the protection of his family as a shield for his inexcusable behavior. Behind the scenes, the LAPD stood ready to arrest him for assault, yet Chris Rock, perhaps out of sheer magnanimity, chose not to press charges. Uh, in the aftermath of the incident, Will Smith belatedly issued a hollow apology to Chris Rock via social media, a feeble attempt to mitigate the damage to his tarnished reputation. However, his contrition rang hollow, devoid of genuine remorse or accountability. Notably absent were the words, I'm sorry, revealing a glaring absence of true contrition. Instead, he offered a vague invitation for dialogue, suggesting a superficial willingness to engage in reconciliation, but the damage had been done. Will Smith's once illustrious public image lay shattered, irreparably tarnished by his egregious actions. The repercussions were swift and severe as legions of disillusioned fans turned their backs on the fallen star. Social media platforms witnessed a mass exodus of followers with thousands deserting his accounts in disgust. Film studios, once eager to collaborate with the A-list actor, now approached him with caution, wary of associating with his tainted brand. So as the release looms for the upcoming installment of the Bad Boys franchise with the release of the trailer for Bad Boys Ride or Die, the question on everyone's mind looms large. Can this film redeem Will Smith in the eyes of the public? 
First, let's address the trailer and title. While some may argue that Bad Boys for Life would have been the perfect moniker, but that title was taken for the third installment. Ride or Die still carries the essence of the series and its characters. The trailer itself promises the high octane action and dynamic chemistry between Will Smith and Martin Lawrence that fans have come to expect from the franchise. It's bombastic, fun, and everything you'd want from a Bad Boys film. Uh, but amidst the excitement, there's a uh, lingering concern. Will audiences be ready to embrace Will Smith once again? The box office success of Bad Boys for Life, a grossing over $426 million worldwide, suggests that there's still a substantial appetite for the franchise. However, the real question is whether viewers are willing to separate the actor from his actions. The trailer unveils a riveting plotline that sees Will Smith's Mike Lowry and Martin Lawrence's Marcus Burnett thrust into a harrowing situation. Following the accusation of corruption against their former captain, played by Joe Pantoliano, the if you're seeing this, I'm probably dead. Fuck! Fuckers! Fuck them all! Duo finds themselves on the run, navigating treacherous terrain and facing off against formidable foes. Despite Captain Howard's demise in Bad Boys for Life, Pantoliano makes a surprising return in Bad Boys Ride or Die, albeit in a unique capacity. Through a poignant message left behind, it becomes evident that Captain Howard's integrity remains unscathed, dispelling any doubts about his character. Moreover, the film sees the return of familiar faces and beloved characters, including Vanessa Hudgens, Alexander Ludwig, and Paola Nunez, reprising their roles as AMO members Kelly, Dawn, and Lieutenant Rita Cicada, respectively. Jacob Scipio returns as Mike's son, Armando Aritas, adding familial depth to the narrative, while Tasha Smith steps into the role of Marcus's wife, Teresa Burnett, succeeding Teresa Randall. Let's not mince words, what Will Smith did at the Oscars was reprehensible. His physical altercation with Chris Rock was a disgraceful display of violence, overshadowing his achievements as an actor. Yet in the aftermath, Smith has paid a hefty price, enduring global humiliation and significant financial losses. His apology tour, whether perceived as genuine or not, was a step towards accountability. Now as Bad Boys Ride or Die hits theatres, the Chic Tech spotlight once again shines on Will Smith. For some, his actions may still be unforgivable, a stain on his legacy that cannot be erased. But for others, myself included, there comes a point where we must acknowledge that he has paid the price and deserves a chance at redemption. Mm. Ultimately, the decision to support or boycott the film rests with each individual viewer. For me, I'm ready to move forward and judge Will Smith based on his performance in Bad Boys Ride or Die. As for the public at large, only time will tell whether they're willing to forgive and forget the event events of that fateful night at the Oscars. Thank you for tuning in everyone. Until next time, stay chic, stay tech savvy, and most importantly, stay tuned for more exciting content here on Chick Tech Spotlight. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content coming your way real soon.